Hello guys, today we are going to repair the HDMI connector of a PlayStation 4 with no charging signal. The customer tells us that the connector is broken and we have to replace it. This one is the new HDMI connector, so let's work the device. He is Leonardo and today we are going to share with you this repair. With the help of the microscope, we will observe the damages that this connector has. We can see that the pins doesn't make contact with the motherboard. I think that they have tried to repair it in some other technical service, but the soldering has not stuck well. There are many ways to change this HDMI connector. We are going to work it like a mobile device. I'm using a GBC air station at 380 Celsius degrees and 50% air. We are applying heat from below and we have to be very careful because this motherboard dissipates heat very well. On a mobile motherboard, in less than 10 seconds, we have the connector out. On the other hand, working with motherboards from laptops and consoles, it will take longer. The connector moves, but at the moment it resists. We are going to give it heat from the top part. Pay attention of this. If the HDMI connector comes with the factory soldering, it will take a little longer, so you have to be patient. If you have a preheater, it will make your job much easier. There are motherboards that dissipate heat very well, and you need to have an air station that maintains the temperature and airflow well. In the next step, we have to apply some flux and we'll solder the pads. In this way, we manage to mix the old solder lid with the new one and we lower the melting point so we can perform a good cleaning. We use the solder at 350 Celsius degrees and the desoldering wick. To solder the pads, we can use solder wire or solder paste. In this step, we have to leave the pads clean. We continue the process until the area is free of the old solder lid. With a piece of cotton and contact cleaner, we clean the area. For a successful repair, the surface of the connector must be like this, very clean. We use ultraviolet mask to cover the marks on the motherboard. 
To cure the mask, we use UV flashlight or an ultraviolet flashlight. Now it's time to place the new HDMI connector. The pins of the connector have to be very aligned to the motherboard. After that, we apply a little flux to improve the solder. I repeat, if you have the possibility of placing a preheater below the motherboard, it will make your job easier. As I said at the beginning, there are many ways to solder these connectors. 5.48 In order to solder the pads well, it is necessary to be able to share the heat well on the two surfaces that we are going to solder. If you can't heat the two parts uniform way, then we won't be able to solder the pads. The two zones have to reach a real temperature between 180 Celsius degrees and 220 Celsius degrees, depending on the solder lead that we use. For example, the solder lead melts at a temperature of 183 Celsius degrees and the lead-free solder melts at a temperature of 217 Celsius degrees. When we manage to reach this temperature, the solder will melt easily and the two metal parts will be soldered perfectly. In this YouTube channel, I want you to learn to solder logically and not to have to memorize any working temperature. You just have to practice constantly and after, for example, 20 hours of practice, you will see the results. Of course, you have to use a good solder lead and a good flux. If you enjoy this type of content, support us with a big like and we'll record similar repairs. Thank you. We'll continue with our soldering process. In this repair, we have used a power soldering iron of the GBC brand at 350 Celsius degrees. Each soldering iron can maintain more or less the temperature. For this reason, the temperature must be raised until the solder lid melts well. And don't forget to use a good flux and a good solder lid. I will try to put a purchase link in the description of this video. And yes, if I'm going to forget it, please let me know in your comments. At the end of this process, we can give a nicer shape to these pins, applying a little flux and a little heat using the air station. If you use a preheater below the motherboard, then the solder lid will melt perfectly and the result will be perfect as in the mobile charging connector. We apply a little flux and with the air station we heat the area at 350 Celsius degrees. We use some cotton and contact cleaner to clean the flux. We zoom in to see the pins of the HDMI connector. Once the pins are soldered, we are going to solder the grounds. To solder these pads, we have to heat the area well and in this way the flux becomes liquid. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same 
as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. To finish the job, we need to solder the pads on top as well. The trick is to heat for 3 seconds and then apply the solder lid. This is the final result. The solder has to be strong and shiny. Guys, he is Leonardo. This was today's video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.